else is against me, I'll give it to him. Because I want the opening to be like, oh, what are you going to talk about? That's how I want the opening. And for that matter, nobody's opening was great, but that's okay. Now, what's the previous opening? Oh, previous opening was, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Okay. I like Sid's opening. I, I do. I do. Related it to the True. Show. Yeah. I, I like Sid's opening as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think Preeti also does not work. Okay. Yeah. Preeti's opening. Yes. What was your opening? It was about Dhan Bhushan's asking. Yeah. Have you watched it? That's not a powerful opening. No, I think I watched it. Everyone's watched, watched, watched it. Watch watch correct. Correct. But oh. asking somebody a question doesn't so always cool. mean a powerful opening. I but yeah, then like, and then her closing was also. Yeah, her closing. Yeah. Was really yeah. Cool. I mean, if you're not gonna give it to her opening, it's like a half opening. Right. If you, closing but was like. If you're giving it, like, yeah, closing was good. Yeah. So yeah. Closing, I agree with the closing, but I don't. Really, I'm not hundred percent convinced on both of your opening. But since all of you all are agreeing to it, I'll give it to you. But remember, it doesn't necessarily have to be a question. It is anything that makes people want to listen to you. That's your powerful opening, okay? Okay. Okay, I don't think you got it on pace because you um, you were more looking towards the back of the room. Wait, what's the pace again? Eye contact. Eye contact. What about walking? Pace is eye contact and walking. You don't have yeah. to walk with you. But. Oh. All right, Sid, yeah. when you were walking, it was good, but you didn't use uh, walking to your advantage though, with eye contact. I think you had pace because you looked at everybody and you walked. You're giving it to completely? Yeah. Okay. Um, I can even demo it. No. <laughs> Hold on. Creepy. Your advantage is your very, very confident, good voice. Okay? But on your walking, I feel like you do a little too much of it. You don't really need that much walking. I think Abhi was the one who taught me this. Where. Um, <coughs> That's she said you don't really have to always keep doing this. Move from point to point. Exactly. So you are here, then you can go here, just stop here for a little bit. Maybe you can stop here for a little bit. Just point to point. You don't have to keep walking. I think you will. That's one reason I'm not totally convinced about pacing. Anybody else wants to weigh in for Preeti's pace? My dad told me this. I just wanted to say it. Sure. When you're walking around, um, it's best to like move when you're changing topics. Yes. So like you're go like the audience says that you're going into a new topic. That is a good point. But if your speech is very small and if your crowd is too big, one thing that you want to make sure is that's a good way to look at it. If you can make sure you've covered the entire audience. For me personally, each speaker is a little different. If you are moving only when you're moving from one topic to another topic, then what would happen is for one entire topic, I'm like this. I am not like this. So I have delivered one topic to you, I've delivered another topic to here, and then the third topic. Like my each of my when I'm moving from one to another, move your body if you want, but your eyes should move around. So you're basically delivering everything to everybody. Does that make sense? So, Pace, would you give it to her? For Preeti? For Preeti? Um, I mean, you don't really bother her yeah. when, when she was walking around. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for future speeches, that it's a good reference point. But yeah. I think you did. Nitin, would you give it to her? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to give it to you. Two things I want you to keep in mind next time. Don't walk too much. Pause while you're walking. Don't have to continuously walk. Pause. No using notes. Okay, that's another thing for you too. You're a ninth and tenth project. So you pick a subject that is easy, like your this was a story for you. It's easy for you to remember that. So you don't really need research topics on your tenth project because it's gonna be hard for you to remember. Nobody has the time to memorize. Just pick something that's a story and you know the topic. Okay? Okay, give it to her. For pace, yeah. Yeah, you already gave it to her. Um, pitch. Pitch, yes, I think you got pitch. Yeah. You did, I feel like from his past speeches he did better because 
Uh, in the beginning, did you hear his voice going up and down, like, the water is good? I did, but remember he's on Project 9. But, like, it's got to improve a lot, not just, like, moving. <laughs> he had a monotone. It was slightly louder than any other time. But I do want to see a little more of fluctuation and a little more of confidence. You are way, way, way better than how much you give yourself credit to. That's the first thing I want you to work on. You are really good, but you don't think you're good and that's your problem. Control the audience. Yep, and you, yeah. Okay, so just don't bother what people are going to think. Just be loud, clear. If they don't like it, it's their problem, not yours. Okay, look at it that way. Just a little more vibration, a little more fluctuation. No, not on the pitch. Yeah, he didn't have the pitch, and one disadvantage for him was he had the braces, uh, rubber bands, so he couldn't. Oh, okay. No, but, but that is not an excuse, but he didn't have the pitch. Just more about How much did you practice? When did you break the speech? Uh, when? Ask him. 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 Ask